Hi, and welcome back to Calorie Lab Online. It's been some time since our last post, but I'm now gonna begin again with regular posting. And I wanted to start with something that is very important to me. It's important to me because I've spent most of my life practicing calorie. I began almost 25 years ago. And in this time, for most of it, it was almost unknown. However, in the last few years, we've started to see a lot more on social media and a lot more schools opening up. Now this is great, and I'm really happy about this. It's nice to be not the only person that knows about this. But what I have seen is a dilution. And I've seen that calorie is getting lost. I've seen that instead of focusing on the most important aspects of calorie, we're now focusing on something else. When I look at videos online, I see altars, the putara, adorned with flowers and candles, people making prayers to 101 deities. I see demonstrations with people clapping and screaming, people jumping around with urmi, waving them as fast as they can. But what I don't see is a deep discussion about the science, and is the science behind calorie that is most significant. Now, some years ago, my teacher was in discussion with a very esteemed martial artist, and he said to my teacher, the problem with calorie is there is no line of action. Now, what do we mean by this? In martial arts, it's very important that you come directly forward. Now, this happens when the pelvis is positioned correctly. The pelvis and the shoulders must always face forward towards the opponent. If, on the other hand, they are facing off to the side, then any momentum that is generated through the legs, through the gluteal muscles, the biggest muscles in your body, when you then take a weapon and you come forward and your body is twisted, this is lost. Now, when we look, for example, online, we see many schools who are doing the lion like this. The back foot is open, the pelvis is off to the side. When we look at the horse, instead of there being a straight line through the body, the back leg is bent. When we look at elephant, instead of the squat being open and stable, this is happening. Now, this is something else. The problem with this is it doesn't work. Not only is there no line of action, and therefore it doesn't work as a fighting discipline, but the energy doesn't move through the body properly. Another name for energetical body is the subtle body. Just like we can say another name for the physical body is the gross body. Now the clue here is in the name. For the energy to flow, the details are subtle. The body must be very precisely aligned. If this is not done, the energy, the values, will not flow properly. And in fact, not only will the physiological body be damaged, but the energetical body will be damaged. What do I mean by that? Well, psychosis, mental disturbance, agitation, heightened anxiety. All of this will come about if the subtle body is not arranged correctly. If, on the other hand, the postures are done correct, the gross body is aligned properly, the horse is correct, the elephant is correct, the lion is correct, and so on, then what you have is a very precise line through which the energy can flow. And then instead of anxiety, you get confidence. Instead of confusion, you get focus. So this is very important. And I think it's very important at this stage that we discuss this. And when I look around online, I see very people talking about this. For example, the running backwards in the Arapokai form. After you make the cut, you run backwards. Backwards running lengthens and releases the muscles in the back of the legs. When you swing the leg in the kicks, the leg is swung straight. When this happens, this is a ballistic stretch. There is evidence to say that ballistic stretching would achieve much greater results than static stretching alone. When we apply oil to the body, we now know that the fascia layers allow the oil to travel deep into the muscle. Same like when you use kiri, when you use a hot poultice, that heat travels deep down into the tissue. We know this, science is now proving this. We are at, at an incredible juncture now in science. For the last five years only, Six years, we have known 
that fascia is the most important, or at least the biggest and very possibly the most important organ in the human body. Why? Because it communicates all the other organs. It allows the other organs to touch each other, to reach each other, to speak to each other. And the way in which we can go into that system is through the body, through the fascia. Whether it's in exercise in Kalari Payat, whether it's in training in Kalari Shikitsa or Mama therapy, we have the tools to do this. Now, instead of this conversation, all we're getting is people jumping around with swords, people lighting candles. And I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm just saying it's missing the point. Calorie is an art. Why is it an art? Because it's so graceful. Calorie is a science. Why? Because it's so precise. If we lose the grace and we lose the precision, then calorie is neither an art nor a science, it's just something else. It's no longer a martial art, it's a performance. And yes, people are interested in it now, but they will not be in 10 years time, let alone 100 years time. Calorie has been around for very possibly 6,000 years. It has survived 6,000 years precisely because it being an art and being a science, it being essential, it being an a way to understand the organism on a very deep and profound level. And I think it is absolutely essential that we bring the focus to this now. So, I'm going to begin a new series of videos, Calorie Corrected. And in these videos, I'm going to be examining different ways of doing calorie. I'm going to be looking at videos online, and I'm going to be commenting on them. Not to pass judgment on them, not to say that what they're doing is wrong and what I'm doing is right, or rather what my lineage is teaching as being right, but rather explaining to you the reasoning why you should do it in a certain way, why if you want it to be effective it needs to be done in a certain way, and why doing the lion like this with the body off to the side, then off to this side, then off to this side, is completely losing it. Okay, so again I apologize if I have offended anyone, that is not my point, but I believe it is absolutely crucial that we address this now. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Nalikanam.